Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll detail the process of adding a sword either to a character that doesn't have one, or adding another sword to a character that already has one. A couple disclaimers before we begin. This method is not compatible with skin mods, and doesn't typically work very well for moves with a lot of weapon movement, like Ike's up B or Palutena's up tilt. Nonetheless, to showcase this, I'll be giving Little Mac Chrom's forward air. I have this plugin, which just has Chrom's game and effect scripts for fair over Little Mac. There's also this section down here, but I'm going to cover that a little bit later, because it's not actually done yet. I've also added the animations for Chrom's forward air in Little Mac's motion body COO folder. But the bulk of this mod actually requires Studio SB and Blender. What we need to do is take Chrom's sword and actually put it on the mesh for Little Mac. I cover more what a mesh actually is in episode 22, so if, if you need some background information, I would recommend watching that. But we're going to open up Arc Explorer, and then dump both Little Max and Chrome's model. So we'll go to Fighter, Chrome, Model, Body, COO, and actually no, we'll get out of the COO folder and just Extract File, change this to Little Mac, and Extract File. Next, we're going to open Studio SB. We're going to open Chrome's model. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know quite what I'm doing with Studio SB here, there's some guides to using it in the Smash Ultimate modding Discord. This overlaps a lot with skin modding, so I'm not going to explain all of it since it's a little out of the range of what I want to cover in the series. But either way, what we're looking for is this sword right here. So we're going to find which mesh corresponds to that sword, and I already know, it's uh, fal r viz o object shape. I'm just going to delete all the other ones since we don't need them. And now what we can do is export scene to files, and I have this folder, episode 39 models. We'll change it to a DAE and put it as chrom start doesn't really matter what you name it, just make sure you know what it is. We're also going to do this process for Little Mac. Go to Little Mac, Model Body COO. Now all we need is actually just his hands, so we'll just delete everything else. The reason we just need the hands is because we'll be placing the sword in Little Mac's hands, if that makes sense. It'll all be a lot clearer when we actually open Blender. But for now, file, export, scene to files, uh, little mac, start, dot dae. Then we can open up Blender. We'll get rid of the Blender cube, sorry buddy. And file, import dae, episode 39 models, and just grab both of those. And you'll see that the sword isn't placed correctly. What I'm going to do is open this. And then move fell our viz object shape over to, to where I think it should fit. We'll move it down a little bit, and I think that's good enough. Now we need to move the sword from Chrom's armature to Little Max. To do this, we'll click on the sword, hold down Control, click on Chrom's armature, and then right click, Parent, Clear, and Keep Transformation. And then we can delete the armature. Now to put it on Little Max, take it, control click on armature, right click, parent, and then with empty groups. Now we've moved the sword into Little Max armature. However, we have one more thing that we need to do. This will make a lot more sense if you've made a model import or maybe a skin mod before, but we need to actually edit the sword's bone groups. So in object mode, click on the sword, then go to edit mode, and then click on this little triangle down here, and then since it's in Little Mac's right hand, we need to assign all the vertices to the have R group. So we'll select all the vertices of the sword, and scroll up till we find the have R group, and then make sure the weight is on 1, and assign. Then we can switch back to object mode, and if you're in the modeling tab, you can go back to layout. Now we don't actually need the hands anymore, so we can delete them. 
And the last thing we need to do before we can put this back into Studio SP is actually just rotate it back 90 degrees. It's just a quirk with how DAE models work. We'll hit this to rotate, and then hold down Control and this red line, and bring it back until in the top left you see negative 90 degrees global. Then we can File, Export, DAE, and then I'm just going to title this Sword 1, and Export. Then I'm just going to undo in case by chance we've made a mistake. Something small that we need to do is actually copy Max Model into our Mods folder so that we're not editing the one that we dumped. So we'll go to Export, Fighter, Little Mac, Model, and actually let's just copy this whole folder over. So we're at Model, and then we'll go to our Mod. So Episode 39, Fighter, Little Mac, and we can just put paste this whole Model folder. Then just check model, body, COO, and that's the whole model. Now in Studio SB, we'll open that one in specific. So I'll go to Smash Mods, Workshop, Episode 39, Fighter Little Mac Model Body COO, and open that. And now that's the entirety of Mac's model. Next thing, File, Import, Model, and then we'll import the Sword 1. Make sure all these settings are what I have, hit OK, use existing skeleton true, and then you shouldn't have to edit any of this either. And now you'll see that there's kind of a sword. This is because it's using a different texture, since we haven't imported the texture yet. If we click on it, we can see material is currently AZA, but we can change it to like band or uh, skin. Yeah, there we go. So you can see there's the whole sword. Except the sword uses Little Mac skin texture. <laughs> so we'll need to copy over Chrome's textures. To save our progress, I'll just do File Export Scene, and then save this in Episode 39, Fighter Little Mac Model Body COO, and overwrite this model.numdlb. And we'll just hit OK, and that should work. Now in File Explorer, I'll go to Export, Fighter, Chrome, Model, Body, COO, and I'm going to take a guess that MetChrome 1 is for his sword. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to open it in Toolbox to make 100% sure that that's his sword. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's not his sword. What else is there? There's Skin, Metal... Then three Alps, which I usually like here. Well, we can actually check which texture it uses by going back into Blender, selecting the sword, and then clicking on the Material tab. And see, yep, Metchrom 01, which is what we are looking at. So we'll copy the color, normal, and param, and we'll move them over to our episode 39 Little Mac folder. And because we've added files, we need to make a config.json, because this is file edition. It's pretty simple, and I'm actually pretty lazy, so I'm just going to use the config.json for the previous episode. So I'll copy, and delete all that, uh, language, json, okay. And then this is fighter, little mac, I'm just going to do COO, since I could not be bothered to repeat this for all the slots right now. Uh, model body COO, and then I think this is met crom01 underscore col dot... I cannot remember the file extension right now. New text B. New text B. I should take the time to mention that this episode is not scripted. All the other ones are, except like the status script ones, this one's not scripted. So we also need the nor and prm. So we'll copy this line, paste, paste, remove the comma from the last line, and just nor and prm. And then we'll save it, episode 39, as config.json. And we can close that now. 
the last thing we have to do, I think, is in this material section, where we choose like Aza, Skin Little Mac, Def Little Mac, that's not actually the texture, that's the material. We need to add a material. Since we've already added the texture, but we don't have like a reference to it. So we'll be using SSBH Editor. A link to download that will be somewhere in the description. And I'm sure links to like Studio SB Blender will also be in there. Editing Lily, I beg you to do that. So we'll go to File, Open Folder, and we'll open Episode 39, Fighter, Little Mac, Model, Body, COO. Select Folder. And now, so to add a new material, we can go to model.newmatb. And then I'm just going to duplicate like uh, def little mac1. So material, duplicate current material, since it's much easier. Then we'll rename it to like, you know what? Met little mac01. It doesn't really matter what you name it to, as long as it doesn't like conflict with anything else. And then here you'll see all the textures. We need to replace those. So we'll replace Def Little Mac 01 with Met Chrom 01. And then we'll also make sure that we selected the COL. And then for the, for the NOR, we'll replace it with the NOR. And for the PRM, the PRM. And then File, Save. We're done with SSBH Editor for now. We can go back to Studio Smash Bros and reopen this. And I'm actually just going to rename the sword, and you'll see why in a little bit. I'm just going to rename it to, like, chrom underscore sword. And then material, you'll see Met little mac01 is there now, and if we click on that, there's the sword texture. Now we'll hit again, file, export, scene to files, and replace little max model. Hit OK. And we haven't actually built the plugin yet, because there's one more thing we have to do. I'm just going to remember that I renamed this to chrom underscore sword. Back in the plugin, this is a fighter frame for Little Mac. What this does is guarantees that the sword is only turned on for Little Mac's forward air, and only for a specific window of it. It basically says, if you're currently doing fair, and, and the frame is between these two numbers, then turn chrom if I could spell chrom sword to true, and set the visibility of chrom sword to false if you're not. And we can save this. Then we'll just open into CMD and just hit it with the cargo skyline build release. And I forgot a semicolon. <laughs> and I forgot this has to be a float. You see, this, this is what happens when I don't script my videos. <laughs> There we go. And we'll take this and put it in the episode 39 folder. Now let's test this in Smash and see how it works. And testing this in Smash, Little Mac does not look quite right. I'll explain real quick. This is every single file in Little Mac's model, including his skeleton. What we need to do is just delete the skeleton file. It's required for using Studio SB and probably SSBH Editor too, but the game doesn't really like the file that much, so we can just delete it. Also, in the mod, we haven't actually like touched any of these textures, so we can just delete those. Uh, we can actually get rid of all these ELP files since we haven't edited them. Uh, all these Def Little Mac ones can get deleted too, and then all these i files as well as dark model light model and metamon model dark model and light model are for world of light enemies and metamon model i believe is ditto's model but we don't need those too since we haven't edited them there's probably some more of this stuff that we don't need but honestly i'm too lazy to figure out which ones and the model worked just fine in this state so we'll put this mod into the switch and see how it works. Make sure you delete the old one instead of just replacing, because then all the like the NuskTB file 
and all the extra textures are still going to be there. Testing in Smash now, you can see that Mac has crumbs there. If we slow things down a little bit, maybe uh, zoom in, you can see that he gets the sword, it has the proper textures, and the trail's a little bit messed up, but it's good enough. As usual, all the code will be available in item 1 in the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!